Aloha and thank you for joining Wisdom Dialogues with Hope Johnson coming to you from Fairyland on the Big Island of Hawaii. Hooray! Happy Thanksgiving! Yay! So I'm starting out with Holly. She came up with a really fun question. She has a passage to read that's confusing. Oh, she said confused. You got to feel confused by it? I, yes, I feel more confused actually by the very last sentence. So, oh, okay. um, so read it all again. Yeah. Okay. It's by Richard Sylvester, and it starts off by saying, um, as soon as we turn non duality into a tradition, philosophy, movement, or even worse, into a religion, we have turned it into yet another story. Immediately, we have deprived it of its aliveness and turned it into a dead thing which the mind now feels it can safely deal with. Okay. And it's that last sentence that confuses me, which the mind now feels like it can safely deal with. <laughs> well, the part that's really relevant to me in that whole passage is that it loses its aliveness. Right. Okay, because that's where it's at. If it, you could make a concept out of anything, and they know that's the that's kind of like the ego's job, make it make it in everything a concept. And concepts point to, but they're not it. So it is in the aliveness of the moment. See. It's in whatever is. It's not in trying to make it into some kind of religion that you just follow. Okay. The safety is it the safety, um, the the compassion, the love is given from where you are, not from any concept, not from any um, conceptual idea. It's always in the moment, you know. There's no formula, let's say. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it, yeah, so it's like it, you know, any concept could be used to deny suffering. Okay, and when that happens, it just builds up. It just builds up and builds up. You know, it, and and I've seen you know denial of suffering happen in my own awareness, like for years and years before it builds up to the point where it's like okay. Time to be present with this, you know, because it'll be it, it'll it'll be uh, like a okay, well, you know, this uh, this suffering comes up, maybe this sadness or something, and the concept will be okay. Well, the world isn't real, anyways. You know, using a concept like that, mm -hmm. and it's true. It's not real, you know. But not like the ego thinks it's not real. I guess it, I guess that's a, that's the thing. Because when the suffering arises, it is it is a gift. And so a concept of non-duality could be used to deny the gift. Okay. The, All right. The gift is in the feeling of the. You know, the concept could be used. To, oh, oh, I'm not. I'm not suffering. Oh, and, and uh, you know, this isn't this isn't suffering. Whatever. And it's that willingness to feel it with gratitude. It's like there's the the ego has blocks. Like oh, I don't want to look at that. I don't want to look at that. I don't want to look at that sadness. You know, I don't want to look at that anger. So using a concept to not have to, to not have to go through it. Until it becomes big enough, until the suffering becomes big enough, so it's like, okay, let me feel this, let me experience this. It's an experience. At that point, though, I mean, I guess it depends on how long one actually waits to deal with that. Um, but there are those who, who still have chosen not to deal with that. And sure. Is it the longer that one waits to actually see what's really going on, if that makes the, sense? Yeah, the more intense the suffering. Because, like, you know, like depressive thoughts, they build up and build up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's, that's why, you know, 
people will become depressed mm -hmm. because these depressive thoughts have built up and built up and that's you know because of denial one way to right. deny is to reject and say that this this sadness is because of what he's done over there right you know, like that, like what that person has done over there that's it. and then and then another way of denying it is to use a spiritual concept okay you know, so that's like a, a that that's a that's a way of also denying what is the truth, and you know it, one one thing that one thing that makes it real simple is recognizing that we're not capable of doing anything. That's right. so so big. We're not capable of doing anything. See, to make something into a con concept and turn it into a dead thing. We have to be under the impression that we're capable of doing something. See, Which a lot of us are. <laughs> sure, sure, and you know it's unconscious. Right. You, right. You know, it, in my own experience, it, in my own experience, I I'm observing thoughts that arise in the mind. You know, like ticker tape. That's how they all are. They're not all our thoughts. Right. Speaking to separation. It's just that a lot of them, more and more, because there's a willingness there, are seen for what they are and not just unconsciously believed. You know, they're seen as that ignorance that they are. Not as, not like, not as my thought, not as I shouldn't be thinking that. You know, this isn't very spirit, spiritual to think this way or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> See, here, here, here's an example. Like uh, the other night, um, I felt a lot of nervousness in my body and a little bit of anger too, and um, and and sort of like an uh, an energy where it made me feel like pacing. I was almost like in a pacing kind of, mm -hmm. and you know, up late and everything. And then when you know thoughts would come up saying this is wrong and things like that. And just letting it all be okay. It's the experience. It is the experience. It's like a ride. And then, you know, I remember laying down in bed and realizing all this tension in the body, you know, noticing the jaw is tight, the neck is tense, the shoulders are tense, you know, and being in that experience, riding that ride, there's no suffering in that. There mm -hmm. isn't. Yep, I understand. It's, be, it's I yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. that you know, it's the experience itself that the concepts can only point to, but it's the experience itself that is it, and it's not just those you know where you know those uh, quote unquote blissful experiences where you feel um, happy about something. You know, you hear feel happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just just that one. There's so much in those suffering, you know, quote unquote suffering. There are made into suffering. They're not mm -hmm. suffering on themselves. They're not really suffering on themselves. All of their own. They're all on their own without any concept about them. They're not actually suffering. It's like something is birthing, you know. Like like in like in childbirth, you know, that's widely thought of as a painful thing, right? Right? Childbirth. Historically, yes, yes. Sure. But there's some well, people that comes out of that. <laughs> yes, and and the and and the only thing that makes it painful is the idea that these sensations are unwanted. It's not embracing the sensations. You know, all that's happening there is the uterus is contracting in, in uh, you know, in a way that uh, pushes a baby out. It births something. And, you know, that's very symbolic of any kind of uncomfortable feelings, painful feelings in the mind, you know, it, um, it, it, pain, physical pain, sadness, anger, frustration even. Like, uh, you know, your, your computer's going so you're like, Please, please, her, you know, that is feeling even, you know, it's all, it's all actually birthing, trying to birth something, trying to birth That's something. That's a wonderful analogy, actually. It makes it easy for me to remember, so thank you. 
<laughs> Yay. Yeah, you know, I noticed that uh, that that come up big time in my experience, you know, in a lot of different ways, you know, um, it's just people would tell me, come up to me and tell me, you know what, I hate that when that happens. I just hate that when that happens. And, and I go, well, that means that something is birthing. That's a gift. You know, that means right. that something is, a, a, a new way of moving is trying to be expressed through your body. A new, a new expression, a different expression, one that you can't conceive at the moment. You know, a new expression of life. And, and, and you know, it's like, it, it's like when I, say, I, I said something like that one time to a friend of mine, and it was so funny because it hit my energy field so well that it was like it, it, I, I just saw that whole thing manifest exactly like like that. Like it, it just all of a sudden my body was just inspired and led to move in a way that birthed that whole situation. You know, yeah. it actually yeah. wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it actually wasn't. It actually it was funny because he was expressing this upset with with the situation and and I was like oh yeah I feel that too I feel that too that means something is birthing so we could be really excited right now and it was funny because it actually birthed not his <laughs> awesome. isn't that funny I like that. it's awesome <laughs> yeah Thank you. That gives me a brand new perspective, Hope. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, too, Holly. I love you. I really appreciate that question. What a beautiful opener. Thank you. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. All right. I've got another hand here. Another hand. It's Yulia's gorgeous hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aloha, I hope. Aloha. Yay. Yeah, good to be here with you again. <laughs> yes, it's always good to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's like uh, what I want to ask, I guess, is vague. You know, lately it feels like I could explain everything in the same terms that you're talking about, which is awesome. Okay. <laughs> and yet, you know, I still... Mm, sometimes get taken by experiences like, oh, I feel depressed about this. I don't like this situation. Okay. Uh, like, you know, I don't know what to do with this. And then I remind myself, wait a minute, these are just experiences. Just yes. Rides, not, nothing else, you know. And then uh. I've, you know, been faced with the situation of making a choice, like, you know, house shopping, and I can't find the right place that feels right and uh, and then I kind of get trapped by that idea like oh oh I can't find anything that feels right you know and nothing is right and I have to do it and I have limited time um, and I'm not happy with this and I'm not happy with that like I, I want this and this and that but I can't have all that and uh, <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> you know what I mean and then I remind myself wait a minute there can't be anything that is wrong it just can't be it doesn't exist you know <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah so and then the topic of patience comes up so maybe you could elaborate a little bit on patience like what is it that we talk about when we say patience impatience there's duality in that good bad again right and <laughs> and about choices like that yeah, well, they, you know, there's duality in all the words that that you use. You know, one right. one one way. Oh, here, here's here's how I like to look at patience. Okay, I'll tell you a story that I heard that's really fun. Okay, I'm probably gonna mess it up, but it, at least it'll probably get the point ac across illustratively. Okay, so so there's this guy walking up a a, a mountain to meet God. Okay, he's gonna go. He's gonna go meet God and talk to God. So he comes across this guy who's meditating in the in the forest on his way up, and the guy's been sitting there meditating for years and years. He's like all tore back <laughs> from sitting there meditating. <laughs> okay, and and so and so he goes he goes he goes. You're going to God. Okay. Well, will you go ask God 
how much longer I have to meditate until I merge in him. <laughs> He's like, okay, sure, I'll go ask God that for you. And so he goes up some more. And then he sees this guy, and he's dancing. He's just dancing around, just like, you know, kind of like just a fool, you know, dan dancing around, having fun, playing his, playing his flute. And, uh, and, and, he goes, and, and he goes, yeah, I'm going to see God. Uh, he goes, all right, have a good time. And, and the guy says, you want me to ask God anything for you? And he's like, no, it's okay. <laughs> 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 was the guy's name Hope or something? <laughs> the guy's name Hope, the one that was dead. <laughs> the guy's name Hope. Right. <laughs> gonna get a picture of Hope that way, dancing with the flute. <laughs> yeah. <sorry. laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so he cruises up there, and he, and he asks God. You know, he's going he's going to God to ask him a question. I forgot what the question was he was asking God, but here's the part of the story that's awesome. He he goes up there and he asks the guy. You know, he's like, yeah, this guy's been meditating forever. Like, can he can we ever reach? You know, can we ever merge into you? When will when will our bliss come? You know, when you know when will it come? And and he uh, and and he goes. Well, he's gonna have to for at least a thousand more lifetimes. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so so he goes he he goes back down there and he tells him that he has to meditate for at least a, a thousand more lifetimes. And he gets angry because you know this is getting frustrating. Mm -hmm. Meditating all the time. He he gets angry, and uh, and he goes he goes. He goes, well, I don't understand. I don't understand why I have to do do it that many more times. Why is God so cruel? I want to know why God is so cruel. And so he's like, you know what? I want to know that too. So he goes back up the mountain, and he goes, and he goes, what? God, why are why are you so cruel? You know that guy's been meditating for so long, and and he's like, God's like, I'm not doing anything. You know, I'm not making him meditate. That's <laughs> his choice. <laughs> you know, and 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 so he goes. Well, well, well. What about what about this guy? He describes the guy dancing with. How many more lifetimes does that guy have? And and God's like, he's already merged in me. <laughs> mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm and it's like that's just right now. That's just right now. And it's not what it's not what you're it's not what you're doing. The meditating, you know, and it's like it's like that choice for meditating for the purpose of getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. As if you go. See? It's like in the future. How much longer? It's like it's associated with time. How much longer do I have to be like this? So it's totally associated with time. And it's like you don't have to. You don't have to wait. Because it's right now. Uh, yeah. Your enjoyment is right now, and you're you know you're not capable of doing anything. You're not really capable of sitting there meditating, in a pose, whatever. You're not really capable of that. Your consciousness leads you to do that, but that but that's not you're not capable of doing it. That's the same. Me, sitting in a meditative pose is the same as dancing, doing the dishes. Taking a shower, it's all the same. Mm -hmm. So if, if if you're not doing it, if you're not doing it with that love in your heart, with that uh, with that acceptance of the truth of who you are right now, it's just making a making an illusion of suffering. But there's really not suffering. Suffering is a dream. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like, oh, well, he's he, he he's not worried about it. He's not worried about it. He knows he's already with me. Mm -hmm. It's it's it, that's all it is. The, the body may be expressing there in the in the physical form, but he knows he's already in me. Yeah. <laughs> It's not, I think it's, it's not, that's how it is. 
the whole thing. Yeah, yeah okay. so these, these ideas that come up that tell you, I want this, I want this, I want this, all they are is like play things. They're like playthings. They're not. They, you don't really want anything. You don't really want anything more than being merged in God, which you are. Mm -hmm. Those other, those other wants, those other desires, are only just a symbol of that, like a shadow of that. Mm -hmm. Cool. You only want to be merged in the Lord, which you are already. So it's like if a feeling of frustration because you're looking for houses comes up, you know, feeling of frustration comes up like, oh, I, I, uh, I need to get, there's time, there's a time limit, all this other stuff. That is a pattern of information that is, that is bringing on an illusion of suffering is all. Mm -hmm. And there's, but there's really no suffering in it. It could be experienced as a feeling. It could be experienced as a feeling it only. And then it becomes like a dance. And it's always bringing you deeper into the knowledge of who you are. See? And so it is with every pattern of information that is perceived every. as suffering, of course, right? Yes, there has to be a... In this, in this case, for it, to, uh, for, for it to fully absorb in the heart and dissolve the illusions in the mind there has to be a willingness to accept the truth right now that's the choice you have to make to accept mm -hmm. the truth right now that's the only choice mm -hmm. uh, the choice between which houses you are you know, you're looking at, that's not where it is as there's that acceptance of who you are these patterns of information become meaningless Except as playthings. One of my friends yesterday described it as like, you know, if you're old enough, you know about TV Guide. It's like flipping through the TV Guide. Oh, I want to watch that. Oh, I want to watch that. <laughs> and then you get into this better information. Oh, wait, nothing that I want to watch that I want to watch is really right, exactly. Or nothing is exactly what I want to watch. Yeah. And you start looking for the perfect thing to watch, but it's not there. It's not there. Nothing is perfect. Yeah, you, you just you just keep on gathering. You're basically, basically the the body is a perceptive organism. It gathers information. Just let it gather information. Your body's walking around, apparently looking at houses, maybe looking on the internet, stuff like that. It's gathering information. It doesn't need your involvement for that. You can totally be in the experience. Mm -hmm. it, it does that, you know. Consciousness makes the body do. Mm -hmm. So, is it, so it's like all that's happening is information is being gathered. And remember, what everything is for. Mm -hmm. to wake everything up. Is for. Basically, <laughs> basically, you came as as the salvation for the, for everyone, which is you know, there's one of us. There's only one of us. What everything is for. It's not for getting what you think you want. The thing, you're not even a thinker. You don't even think you want anything. The thought that I want is just a projection of the ego. It's not a problem. And then feel any, any, uh, any upsets and, and ride that ride. They come up about not getting what you want. Mm-hmm. You know, the other the other day I was cruising with my family to Hilo, you know, we have a town Hilo where we go shopping and stuff. It's like 45 minutes away. It's a pretty good putt, you know, where they have Walmart and stuff like that. And so and so in my mind, you know, I'm I'm under the impression that we're going to be like chilling and taking it slow and maybe have some sushi and stuff like that. And we get there and and you know, the all the energy is moving, all the energy is going toward Boom, 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 get this done, be, produ be productive. And then at the end of all the productivity, it's like before lunch or anything, it's like going home. And, and noticing a little feeling of upset. And it's like, whoa, there was some wanting there, wanting to take it slow, wanting to get some sushi, you know. And it wasn't really, uh, it, it wasn't really any problem, the sensation that comes up. And noticing the projections, like, oh, these guys just aren't, aren't really chill or whatever. 
and and it's like it just did it, it looked like the whole the situation didn't go my way see so it was hmm. like oh that's that there it is right there that's the ride thank you thank you it's never about getting what you want because what you want is the ride <laughs> okay yes yes because that sensation right there that 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 sensation right there that's the learning experience and it's not like you're learning anything you know what that sensation is sometimes feels like I don't know if I heard it somewhere but it's like leaning into the world into the moment like reaching yes it's like and they say gripping, somebody, gripping. Somebody, somebody also had this idea or this way to describe it is instead you could sit there and let the world come to you yes exactly rather than you like coming at it and re leaning into it and reaching into it like give me give me that you know exactly yes yes and you know that's the thing Yulia the world is coming it's like it's like picture frames we don't have to reach out and do anything you know that doesn't mean we we don't have to ask for help I mean if that if, if that arises it just arises but there it's a different kind of reaching it's yeah, like that's an internal part you know of, yeah that's the tricky part you know like because there's still that uh, like choice do I act or do I not or it seems like you have that choice right so sometimes you start doubting oh should I do it or should I not or am I reaching into it so that that self-doubt and that lack of understanding, I guess, where the, the subtle difference is. Yes, exactly. It's very subtle. It's very subtle. Because, you know, it's like you're not capable of doing anything, but if you do your duty... <laughs> <laughs> you do your duty. That's it. You know, it's like, and, and, and what is, okay, let's go to what is doing your duty, okay? What, is it, what does that mean? If you're not capable of doing anything, yet there's this doing your duty, you know? And it, it's, like, it's like this. Whatever is arising, whatever this moment has brought, that's it. Whatever mm -hmm. this moment has brought, that's it. And it's being birthed through your body which is not really your body but it's a perceptive organism it's being brought about through your body and and and, as, and what's being brought about through your body is exactly what needs to occur now for instance you can cow down in fear like fear comes and it's like oh and taking it taking it as real and going oh no i can't ah oh. Uh, there's like for instance for instance you know let's say something really really seems trivial like there's dirty dishes everywhere and you feel like it would like to be you'd like to clean it or or it's like maybe a fear of oh but my kids should be doing the dishes my kids should yeah. be doing my kids <laughs> do the dishes my kid is so so the, that's like averting your duty if you just uh, 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 believing in the thought that my kids should have done the dishes believing in the thought that my kids should have gone should have done the dishes see uh, do, you, do you understand wh where I'm coming from there because yeah, like in not, in that that you're not allowed to tell your kids to do the dishes or to take any it's action not that leads that one you know, it's not yeah yeah that. It's, it's not like that it's it's more like Feeling, believing that any feeling, upset feeling that you feel is because they haven't done the dishes and because something went wrong. Exactly. And here's, and here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing. This is a very fearful belief that the kids should have done the dishes. So in that fearful belief, in, in trusting in that fearful belief, in choosing that fearful belief over the truth, it's impossible for you to do your duty. Even if you find yourself doing the dishes, you're not doing your duty because you're doing the dishes in a way that's choosing illusions over the truth. See? So, so in, the moment, in the moment where the truth is chosen, whether or not 
the dishes are done through the manifestation of your body, birthing that birthing through your body or another body. That's that's not relevant. That's not relevant. Even if they don't get done at all, none of that's relevant. Mm -hmm. You will be able to do your duty. You will be able to do your duty if you're willing to accept the truth. Whether or not anything is manifesting through your physical form or not, that's doing your duty. Okay? And and here you know, I can give you a, a really a really good example. Like for example, my husband um, likes stuff clean it like pretty much as soon as it's messy. Pretty much as soon as it's messy, he likes it clean. Okay? <laughs> And for years and years, that was hard for him because you know I've been cruising with him for like 23 years, and I can get, I can let things be messy for a while before before I feel like you know they can they need to be clean, <laughs> you know, and 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 so it was kind of hard for him. Like I'd notice he'd be doing it, but not like in a really good mood about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, and 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 I know in his experience in his practice, he's he's recognized that there's you know time is an illusion and 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 you know it's like whatever his body is moved toward it that that's just allowed to be as it is he doesn't have to accept that anyone should be doing anything differently and you know what i notice is he's so happy you know in his in, in his body's expression um there's a lot of a lot of movement a lot of pro productivity you know, it's and and he's happy. That's the difference. And it and you know and and part of that birthing may be having a communication that leads to a transformation. See, it's like when we're under the impression that someone should be doing it, or this isn't right that I'm doing this. Like even oh, I have to drive to Hilo. I hear that a lot around here. It's so like I gotta go to Hilo. I don't want to go to Hilo. <laughs> I shouldn't have to go to Hilo. <laughs> when we're when when we're under that impression, then we can't communicate. We can only speak to illusions, and that's why our communications, our attempts at communication, go awry. That's why they end up in conflict. We can't communicate, so it's not, it's not going, it, it's it's not going. Oh well, that's just the way it is. Oh well, that's just the way they are. It's not like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just wide open for anything. It's a wide open space for anything. Let me see. You know, when I feel an upset feeling, you know, and it, it, tears are coming, crying and stuff like that it's like thank you thank you because there's not even suffering in that there's only suffering in the thoughts about it I know something awesome is birthing through that it's going to allow my body to express in a different way not expressing from the past but from now from the present moment and it's interesting because I've watched it happen you know and before the moment occurred where there was all this crying and all this upset, I'd noticed thoughts running across the mind speaking like how I'm going to communicate this. Which words am I going to use to communicate this? And recognizing that all of that is irrelevant, not relevant at all. Because the strength comes at the time, in the moment. There's no need for me to pre meditate what I'm going to communicate there's no need for that and I watched it happen it was so interesting because I could feel it welling up like a communication something was going to happen something different was going to happen I could feel it kind of welling up in me like something was going to speak and and I and I wasn't sure if it was going to happen it was it was during a car ride it was like it seemed like the perfect time but I wasn't sure if it was going to happen or not and then it's just an allowance to go back to that relaxation again and again, not trying to get up any courage to speak or anything like that. And then it just started coming, and the words came in a way that I couldn't have imagined, and everything was very clear. 
and the communication was clear and it led to a transformation that was it, that that was so powerful it was like it, it cleared away a grievance that was held for many years kind of like an unconscious grievance between us mm -hmm. and it just cleared it cleared it right away but there was no uh, doing anything on my part because there was just all there all there was was that choice for the truth and the truth is that the spirit speaks through me I don't have to try to meet premeditate it you know I don't have to try see because there's no individual like that. There really isn't a me like that that can make anything happen, that can create or manifest anything. Manifestation is just happening. And it's arising, it's birthing through our bodies. It's a, through these perceptual organisms. The whole world is perceived through this perceptual organism. Okay? And it's, and it's interpreting patterns of information to make up reality as we see it. Perceptual mm -hmm. reality. Okay? So mm -hmm. if anything seems like there's a pressure on you, it makes the perceptual body as if it can do something that it cannot. It puts a burden or a pressure on the perceptual body and the energy body. It puts a, a, a density on it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I can feel it. <laughs> and that's how you get everything you want. It's like, how do you get everything you want? Well, you are everything you want. You are everything you want. So when it seems like you're not getting something you, you, you want, thank you for this experience. Because that experience, that feeling speaks to what's holding back, what's holding you back. And it's not real, it's just concepts. So don't deny the feeling. Let the feeling be there and ride the ride. And everything is okay. Just notice in your body if you're feeling any tension anywhere. Okay. Just noticing it. Just noticing it allows it. It allows it to. It allows it to move. Well, it is always in motion, anyways. But the motion is holding, 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 holding like that. <laughs> it's funny. It's like we have to hold this pressure on ourselves. That's why. That's why when the body is. There's no, there's no more perceiving as a body. The pressure is released. Mm. No more perceiving as a body. You don't have to perceive as a body. Perceiving a body, but that's not who we are. This, and so then this energy body is allowed to be what it is. It's allowed to, we can notice, oh, oh wow, why is my inner thigh holding right now? You know, not, even, not even the why part. It's just kind of like, oh, that's holding and noticing that it's holding. Just noticing that it's holding. A lot of the times in the noticing, it'll just be like, oh, that's not necessary. And the holding will release. Maybe you're clenching your butt cheeks. You know, maybe you're holding your, you know, some people like clench maybe butt cheeks or, uh, I don't know, jaw, toes gripping to the earth. That's a, that's a symbol of something. That's symbolic. Being mm -hmm. aware of that, when that's more interesting, that, uh, the way the energy body is perceiving and the symbolic gestures that, that you, you're noticing become more interesting than the idea that you're not getting what you want. <laughs> that's a total transformation. Can you talk a little more about those moments? We talked about that before. You had, you know, a lot of um, uh, victimization with your children. 
Yes. And you know what I'm talking about. Oh, 22 years old, playing video games uh, while my friend's kids are working and they have health insurance from their employer. <laughs> you know, things like that. And then, and then seeing the video game playing again and having that feeling of anger, of rage, of victimization come up, you know, wanting to lash out, sometimes lashing out, then feeling guilty and, and, and bad and sad, you know, all that stuff. And, and knowing at the same time how there's no truth to any of it. There's no yeah. truth to any ideas that anything should be in any way. Yeah. Have you expressed that to your son? Has you, have you expressed that to your son? No. Oh, yeah. You know, that's really helpful, actually. That's not that. <laughs> Are you afraid of, you're afraid of expressing that to your son, or what? what why do you think that hasn't come forth yet? Of, uh, because, it, because I guess I still am afraid of approving of that. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that good stuff? Yeah. So, yes, so, yes. so so you know, I I've I've look. Whenever you're speaking, you're speaking to yourself. There's only one of us. It's really right. a, it's really a monologue. It's really a monologue. Okay. So it's like mm -hmm. whenever you're speaking, you're speaking to yourself. And you know, it, I, I've I've experienced looking my son straight in the eyes when he's sorry for something that he thinks he did. And and you know, at the time at the time I, I experienced it, it was like. Oh fuck! Why'd you do that? You know, like that. But he, uh, the, uh, you know, when he came to me and he's like, he's like, Mom, I'm so sorry about that earlier today. And you know, I just looked him in the eyes and I go, There is nothing you can ever do wrong. There's nothing to be sorry about. And he goes, Really, Mom? And I was like, Yeah, really. There's nothing you need to be sorry about because you can't do it wrong. Whatever you do, thank you. Whatever you do, thank you. Remember, you're speaking to yourself. Yeah, we we have like this totally okay. different dynamic where my son would never say that. Oh, we 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 get into these lengthy arguments where he tells me how there is nothing wrong with what he is doing. Great. <laughs> He's, he's right. And I get into the mode of denying it, and it's a big, you know, victimization thing, and trying to what, prove what, 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 he's what, judging why this is wrong and why everybody in the world thinks it's wrong, and how come he thinks it's not wrong? <laughs> yeah. So basically, you're saying you're telling yourself that you're wrong, <laughs> and your son, and and your son is this great, masterful teacher. <laughs> he really is. Yeah. And it, you know he's like he's like come on mom when are you gonna stop pretending like you're wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. He's like, don't you understand that it's because you play video games all the time? Is that why you don't do this and this and that and why ev that's why everything is wrong? No, mother. There is no connection. There is there is no connection between this and that. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so you know, eventually, maybe in this lifetime, <laughs> you you'll you'll be willing. Who knows? In the next moment, you could decide. This is the choice you have to accept the truth. Your son is telling you the truth. Your son's telling you nothing's wrong. And you're trying to teach him, maybe successfully, maybe not. That something's wrong, but you're totally teaching that to yourself over and over again. So you're making suffering for yourself. Yeah, I don't know if I've taught him anything that's you know that anything is wrong, but I know he does feel upset or or or, or seems so about not having like not getting things done, even the ones that he intends to do. Okay. Like for himself, let, it's let, not let even it's for okay. me or someone else. Do you let him know it's okay? <laughs> um, no, I haven't yet. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, you know, remember you're talking to yourself. Would you know? Right. I also don't want to feel guilty about you know saying or not saying anything because that's again part of the same game. Like, oh no, I should I should say that or should not say that. 
Well, no, just just notice. Just notice how much generosity are you allowing for yourself? Why, mm. you know, it, you know, it, why wouldn't the truth be told? Why wouldn't the truth be told? Because well, what would be holding moment, back? At this moment, I don't remember it's the truth. <laughs> good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. And so, and so, you'll you'll remember it's the truth if you're willing in the moment. If you're willing, if you're willing to make that choice in the moment. That's all it comes down to. You don't. Mm -hmm. You're not capable of saying anything. But there is a reason why the truth isn't being told. There is a reason why instead what's expressing is lies. Straight up lies. Because the so, truth isn't really accepted entirely, I guess, or something like that. Well, it, it's, it, it's, in the, it's always in the moment. It's always this instant. This mm -hmm. instant. This instant, and you know, I, I know it could be elusive, and in my experience, where it's where it gets elusive, I will find myself saying, "Help me, help me," because I know it's elusive right now, but I know the truth is true, and so in that "help me," that's a choice for the truth. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. And and you know the truth is true. It comes down to that instant. It comes down to a willingness to take it slow, kind of, kind of, uh, so to speak. <clears throat> There's this speeding up that's occurring. Like the mind starts going fast. Oh yeah. When it when it's perceived something wrong. Oh, to take it slow inside your being, be inside of your heart, even as that's going fast. No need to try to slow the mind down. That would be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Taking it slow inside of your be breathing, being with it inside of your body, being with the breathing, even if that's not slow. Noticing if it's choppy, the breathing changes. You know, notice what the tongue is doing. The tongue is a is a is a wonderful symbol of what's going on. You know, that that thing's always quivering. It's always doing something. It, you know, if your if your tongue's not just at rest right now, just noticing that there's some th kind of illusion being believed. You know, even help me is a choice for truth. You yeah, know, it, it's... Help me not in the sense where, like, give me something that I want. Give me exactly. relief. Give me change. Yes, or, exactly. Because that this is, a, this is coming from a different place. This isn't a shallow prayer trying to get something on the surface. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, it, it's like you can sense the resistance to the sensations that are coming up. And it's got, and it's kind of like a, you know, I don't know the exact words for it, but it's kind of like, help me be with this, help me experience this experience right help now. Help me see. You remember, you told me exactly. help me see that. Help that me. I had, I always felt that, <laughs> like yeah. you know, there were moments in my life where I was like, what do I really want? I really want to see it as it is. Yes, and it's it, and and you know, in that help me see, it's like there's a. There, there's, there becomes openings, and you know, openings in your energy field. Because remember, this upset feeling—it's consciousness trying to birth something through your body. It's a new, it's, it's a, it's a new way of moving. It's a new way of being. It could be, but there's resistance to it. Just like when the uterus is contracting in birth, you know, a woman can effectively prevent her birth through that, through. Just, just keep on uh, resisting the contractions. You know, the baby can't come through the vagina until there's kind of like a release and acceptance. Okay, huh, let it go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. why they have so many C-sections. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. there's, there's like a fighting against it. So the so so whatever this new way of being is trying to manifest manifest through through the body. We we can stop that from happening by resistance through resistance, not forever, not forever, but you know we can do it for thousands of lifetimes. <laughs> that seems like forever. <laughs> <laughs> so so you know this game that you're playing with your son right now. It's like 
it, it, it's like you could just do that over and over and over again for the remainder of this lifetime. And then you can like start it up again and just keep on doing it like that until there's a willingness to basically be the truth. Notice why the truth isn't being spoken and except lies are being spoken. There's a feeling there that hasn't been experienced. There's a feeling there that hasn't been fully addressed. Mm -hmm. So that's like the, that's that's the duty in that moment. Nothing exactly. That's that's the duty in that moment. Exactly. Being with the experience. Being with the experience. Everything led up to this moment where I feel stress and tension and aggravation and disappointment in my son. Everything led to this moment. What's going to happen next? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All I know is the truth. All I know is that I am the truth. I am the way, the truth, and the light. That's all I know. Whatever happens does not happen by me. It happens through the perceptive body. It happens through it. Well, so is him and his video game playing, I guess. What's that? So is him. It says I am the truth and the light. So is him, the, my son or anybody else, and whatever they do or seem to be doing. Yeah. Right? Yep. No one's actually doing anything. No one's actually doing anything. Your person perception of him playing video games is totally inside of your perception. He's actually not doing ever, anything ever. <laughs> it's all for you. It's all for you. Mm, he is unchanging yeah. just like you. There's no separation. You know that. Mm -hmm. You made that all up. It's not even true. And, you're, and, and, and the gift you have to share is the truth. That's what you have to share. So when he comes to you with, gosh, Mom, I just don't seem to get anything done, you know, and it's like you know in your heart, oh, that's okay. Of course, that's okay. Then that's what will be expressed through you. First and foremost, what will be expressed to you is that's okay. Mm. And then any kind of advice or anything like that can come uh, 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 in addition to it's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't, See what it's not I'm, okay. I'm, I'm in this dynamic where like, you need to get this done or do this for me. Oh no, you haven't done it again and again and again. How long it's gonna, uh -huh. is it going to be before you do this? This is going to happen if you don't do this. And do I have to do this again? Or like, I can't do this for you, you know? So uh -huh. that's, that's, that's the dance that's happening. It's all self-talk. Mm -hmm. It's all just self-talk. You're talking to yourself. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's really important to know. And, and it's fun to play with how much generosity can be expressed. You know, kindness is generosity. Mm -hmm. You know, I had an experience the other day, it, you know, it's like it, it, an experience where my son got in the car and he saw something. Well, it was the, our dog was in a, in a position where he ran out the gate and he saw that. And he felt so angry. He screamed really, really loud. The door is closed. And, Ah, ah. And then he tried to run out the car and the car was moving. Stop the car and okay, stop the car. He tries to get out. The seatbelt traps him. He's like trapped up against the car. <laughs> Even more. Ah. Damn it. Gets back in, closes the door. We're driving. Mom, I'm sorry. I don't know why I do that. And and I was like, and yet all is well. Look. There's a wild pig. <laughs> Nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong. Mm -hmm. Sometimes an emotional outburst occurs. That used to be for me so painful. Like, why are you doing that? 
Why are you doing that to me? Why are you screaming and getting angry like that? What did I do to manifest this? You know, and it's a and and it's like it, just just from experiencing, it's okay. It's okay. Everything calms down. There's not conflict about it. And then anything that he's ready to discover about that can be communicated hmm. without conflict. <laughs> it's over in a moment. It's back to a, a fun experience. Driving to the fun experience for him. The whole thing is fun experience for me. <laughs> You know, it's also when I think it's a video games and wearing headphones, you can't really communicate either. <laughs> it's like well, you, you know, it, it, you know that it doesn't it doesn't matter. You know, there's there's we talked about it before. My son was in that same position before. Mm -hmm. My son was in that same position with the with the video games and everything like that. And when it became okay, when it became okay then it was it was fun it was something that that oh my son's a gamer okay my son's a gamer so you know I'd be interested in whatever he was doing with the gaming and uh, and if he if he's like mom can I get these uh, points for this game you know you pay money for it oh yeah sure you know it, no problem and it's not like what you should be doing something else and whatever and and if it seemed like if it seemed like he should be doing something, and I would just realize, oh, I would like that to be done. So there it is. Oh, that's not a problem. And you just watching my body manifest in that way and doing it. Maybe even cleaning his room. You know. But it's not in a way like, oh, this is going to get, this cleaning the room right now is going to get me something. It's going to get him to behave differently. No, it's all uh -huh. an internal thing. It's all an internal journey. Bronze here. Tangerine dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did the same thing. Tangerine I bought the dialogue. points and I didn't mind it when they were younger, you know. And okay. Uh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yeah. Well, there's there's that expectation. The thing is, the that the parents cost so much that I'm terrified. They can't afford it, you know. And I sh feel like I should be covering them, but how can I do this? I really can't do this, and I have other responsibilities. It's just, it becomes simply scary. Like, how come I can't shell out that much money? I don't have it. You know, okay, you don't, you don't have any responsibility for supporting anyone. Right. You, have, you don't have any responsibility for supporting anyone. So it's just self-identification that keeps on bringing this up for you. It's always up for you. The fact that he's playing video games isn't a problem, but it's always up for you and it's always being avoided by you because there's not a willingness to accept that it's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, when, it, when, when he was younger, you had an expectation that he'd grow out of it. And so that's what made it be okay because he was young, you mm -hmm. know. And, and, you know, in my experience, it, it was like I had uh, I, the fear that was, that was arising was that um, he would be 35 and, uh, and a fat guy eating Cheetos in the dark room playing video games. Yep. Right? <laughs> yes, I remember. So, so, yeah, so, so even, even when he was like, I don't know, 12, 13 years old, that was okay with me. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference. Yeah, what scares me that I'll be paying for it too. Well, well that's because you're identifying with someone who, who pays. Like you have, like like you have the money or something. It only looks like that. No one's supported by you. You're not supported by you. And the same the the same source that supports you supports your kids. It's not it's not like that. It's not like you have any uh, responsibility to cover them. No. Blah, 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 Is that what you came here for? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> huh? No, I came here to do the Tangerine Dialogue thing. Okay. <laughs> the Tangerine Dialogues, I like that. <laughs> it's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a 
piece? Thanks. Now is the real oh. Ted dialogue, right? <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. So, it's only that it's not okay with you. Mm -hmm. That's a feeling that you haven't been willing to address because it's more interesting to you that fear of the future is real. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. It comes down to this instant. It There's doesn't matter what's on the future, surface. of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. who who minds what happens anyways when everything that happens is for the same purpose? Mm -hmm. Who minds what happens? Okay. Well, I'm kind of tired of that belief. It's it's annoying. <laughs> well, good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha. Okay, does anyone else have any questions for me? Would anyone else like me to talk on any particular subject? Raise your hand if so. Otherwise, it looks like my son is ready to go do some pumpkin pies. No, I'm just here. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, I'm just here. You're just here. So, um, we're sponsored by Miracle Botanicals. Yeah, her website that she runs. <laughs> sponsored. Sponsored by her own website. Yes, sponsored by her own website, Miracle Botanicals. It's not just a website. It's some really delicious essential oils. One of them, one of them inspired by Braun. It's all his favorite ex ingredients. It's a peppermint patty. It's, it's peppermint, chocolate, uh, you know, cacao, essential oil. Peppermint. Chocolate, vanilla, butter. Peppermint chocolate, vanilla, butter. Peppermint patty. We also have a Christmas tree blend that just came out. And fairy woods. And they're pretty good. Yay. <laughs> and fairy woods is a lot of different woods that came to me on my silent birthday last year, 2016, August 11, 2016. And everyone really liked it, so we just made it a product recently. It's in our new products. If you're interested, hooray! I made a bird. Thank you. <laughs> I made a bird. Caw, caw. Yeah, these are really cool things that Braun does. Clay, birds, and that one's and baked. dragons. That one's baked to make it all hard. And this one's baked. And, it goes, and dragon dogs. And it goes, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Um, with some dialogues, it's at 4 o'clock Hawaii time now. If you're on the mainland, it probably didn't change for you, the time change, um, with the time change. And, uh, yeah, thank you. I love you. See you next Tuesday at 4 o'clock. Aloha ah! and a hui ho. <laughs> thank you, Scott. That's when I came out the end of it.